What up, David here. Welcome back to another video. Hope you all enjoy your weekend as much as I do while in the CMCO. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can level up your photography game through the camera in your pocket. Yep, you hear me right. This leveling will fully done within your smartphone. I will guide you how to edit the very first time as well as the following time. Well, I do apologize for the lateness of this video, especially to some of you who were previously voting yes for should I come out with a tutorial video on how to bring up your photography game to the next level. For instance, from this to this, and from this to this. Team today will be a deal or whatever you want to call it. And some of you may or may not know about this app, so-called Lightroom. It's a very powerful editing tool from Adobe. It's 100% free to use unless you want some extra cool features. Well, if you don't have the app yet, feel free to pause the video and go ahead to download the app. You might say, hey David, am I going to repeat all these steps again on every photo I capture? The answer for that is no, you don't. All the steps in this video, you just have to complete it once and for all and I will talk about it in a minute. Oh yeah, a minor disclaimer. This is just a learn and share tutorial where Adobe does not pay or sponsor me by any means. Do keep in mind that this is my preference of editing. I do understand not everyone will like it. However, this is just one of many. If you do like to see more of this type of tutorial videos coming up, don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell aside. That will be highly appreciated. By the way, if you're new to this channel, it's mainly for videography, photography, b-rolls, and some tutorials that I found it worth to share. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Today, we are going to touch about four elements in the Lightroom app. They are light, colors, effects, and details. And just before we dive in, a gentle reminder, do ensure you have some pieces of different photos imported into the Lightroom so that you could actually see and compare the after effects in a different one. Alright, let's get started. The first part is the light. Once you're in, let's bump a bit of exposure here to about 0.6. Same goes to the contrast, up to 37. Dropping highlight to negative 19. This way, it's giving the contrast a boost. Usually, shadow off for better contrast, but we are bumping up this time to plus 75. This is to avoid over contrast, since we will have an earthy feel already. And lastly, reduce the whites and blacks to negative 44 and negative 15. Next, we'll move to the color. Under this part, we will increase vibrance to plus 32 and saturation to plus 9 in order to work better in the color wheel later. So we are going into the most interesting parts of everything, the color wheel. In this color wheel, you could have your own creativity here. It's not necessary, you have to follow my numbers and also depends on the photo you have right there. Which color you want it to be stand out and which color you do not want it to display. You could have your own decision and have your own creativity. So, the first one is the red. In my case, I'll be bumping up the red saturation to plus 16 and lower down luminance to negative 10. Next, orange, hue down to negative 9, saturation down to negative 10 and luminance increase to plus 16. Next, the yellow. In this part, we are going almost totally off for both hue and saturation, about somewhere negative 95 to negative 100. Next, the green. And again, this part, you could have your own decision. You could either play with the saturation on and hue off for brownie look, or you could follow my earthy way saturation off. Alright, for the blue, we'll go down the hill to about maximum but we'll stay at negative 99 there and bump up a little bit of saturation. 
For the navy, we will go the heel down to negative 29 and the saturation down to negative 53. And we do not want the purple in pink in this photo, so we will completely off for saturation for both purple and pink. Alright, next effects, I'll be try to be as quick as possible in this area and next. So for the texture, we are up to 53, clarity up to 44, dehaze up to 34, vinyl down to 20, midpoint up to 77, and last but not least, the details. We'll be up the softening to 9, but we will drop the radius to 0 0.6. Details down to negative 4, noise reduction up to 45, contrast again up to 26, color noise reduction up to 37. Oh yeah, before moving to the final step, isn't the photo a little bit overexposed? Hmm, I think we are, but don't worry, let's go back to the first part, the light. And there is a curved button on slightly above the exposure numbers. Press it. Here is where you could give the exposure level a post adjustment by dragging the curve itself. The exposure number that we just did will still work. This curve is just to give users like you and me a little final touch. Let's drop down a little bit on the middle curve so that the exposure is at a fair level. Alright, we are done with the editing. No more numbering and dragging after this, okay? Anyway, I'll be showing you how to save this filter as your own preset and apply anytime in the future without a single hustle. There are triple dots on the right upper corner. After press, you will see a create preset option. Select that, name it whatever you like. I will go with my earth deal name. Save under the user preset for the preset group and hit the done button. Congrats, you have your preset ready. Let's jump over to other photos and use the presets to see whether it's fine on all. So the preset you will find on the bottom line, which is the same row with the effects and details and so on, just beside them. After you press in the preset, you will see a little tiny arrow beside colors. Select that and change it to user preset. There you will find your preset and select and click done. Let's try one or two more. So far looks promising. So that's wrap it up and let's call it a day. If you find this video helps, thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe. We'll catch you up in the next one. Peace.